Good afternoon, brethren. Uh, today is June the 26th, 2017. I am coming on here today. I have an urgent message from the Lord, an urgent word that was given to me today. I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to go over the scriptures that he wants you to pay attention in detail. We are at a crucial time, a crucial time. And if you please lend your ears and hear what the Holy Spirit is revealing, it will clearly make sense to you why this is so very important, this very time that we are in prophecy. Please lend your ears. The Lord has given me a word of extreme caution for awareness, extreme awareness for the church. He is revealing that the enemy is devouring his children at any given cost while they're awake, while they're asleep. At any cost, he is slithering in, and this is why. He is seducing the Lord's children with impurities of this world that we may have had at one point of time experienced. These include and are not limited to pornography, sexual impurities, witchcraft, sorcery, drunkenness, addictions, etc. The Lord is stressing that we must suit up daily. We must make a conscious effort to protect ourselves in his blood. In the name of our Savior, Yahushua HaMashiach. Please read Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10 through 20. The Lord has continually given that particular scripture so that we protect ourselves. If you are not familiar with Ephesians 6 verse 10 through 20, it is vital that you sit down and you read this. It is so very important, <clears throat> excuse me, that you do this daily, vigilantly. The Lord is instructing us to suit up, to armor up for spiritual battle of epic proportions in the church. This is the great falling away that is spoken and is written. I'm going to go over the scriptures that he's asked me to speak. Pardon me for looking down. Referencing always from King James uh, Version. Galatians chapter 5, 19 through 21. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envyings, murders, drunkenness, revelings, excuse me, revelings, and such like, of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. This requires obedience. Please hear that word. Obedience throughout our walks. End time scripture indeed reveals there will be a great falling away. It is written in King James Version, 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 1. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly, excuse me, expressly, that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Why? Because they did not suit up. Putting on the full armor of God is essential. How can I avoid the evil traps of the enemy? 
one might ask. Galatians 5, it says, you must walk in the Spirit. You must consciously crucify the flesh, for both are contrary to one another. We cannot serve two masters. Please read in depth Galatians 5. In 1 Thessalonians, I apologize, that was my dog. Uh, in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17, it says, pray without ceasing. We know from our own experiences that we are under heavy spiritual attack. The enemy knows that we are getting so close to being lifted up. There's things that he doesn't want. Mysteries that the Lord has given us that he does not want spoken. It's so very crucial that you hear these words. We must vigilantly, when you wake up, if the first thing you grab is coffee or medication or whatever the case may be, Put a little side note, put on the full armor of God as spoken in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10 through 20. Share that with your families and friends. When we don't share Ephesians 6, verse 10 through 20, unknowingly, subconsciously, we're, le we're leaving our family members as full game for the enemy to pounce on them because the church we're not the only ones who have struggled with the things that are listed that I just went over our family members our friends at some time or another they've experienced with all of those that includes as far as witchcraft and sorcery that includes watching movies that have witchcraft and sorcery Harry Potter movies, things of that nature, dark movies. The enemy will penetrate any crevice at any oxygen that you give him. Make sure that ye be holy in all your ways to avoid being devoured by the enemy. Rebuke him. Rebuke him out loud in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach. The Lord has stressed, when we use Yahweh as Father God, or we use Yahushua HaMashiach to rebuke the enemy, there is a great power in the word Yah that the enemy will not utter. And he will scatter with his tail between his legs when we proclaim and declare the name of Yah. God bless you. I hope that this has helped you. Please share. Share kindly with your friends and family. We are all under attack, not just the church, especially the slumbered. I love you.